We do it every night. There you go. Every night. And there that must be why you've been together 20 years. It's the only reason why. It's the only reason. <laughs> it's the only reason. Actress Sarah Michelle Gellar and her hubby Freddie Prince Jr. have been together for ages and are certainly a Hollywood power couple who has stood the test of time. Could they be any sweeter? Aside from building a stunning family including their two children, Sarah Michelle and Freddie have built a beautiful home life, settling into some stunning Los Angeles properties over the years. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you wanna see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Have you ever wondered where Sarah Michelle and Freddie Prinze have called home? Well, back in 2014, the couple sent celebrity real estate watchers into a tizzy when they purchased an LA area home for $6.1 million in 2013, only to put it back onto the market early 2014 with a price tag of 7.9 mil. It seems like the couple was just flip-flopping because it's still the mansion the family lives in to this day, and they took it off the market shortly after. Located in a gated community in the Swank, Mandeville Canyon, neighborhood in Brentwood, Los Angeles. Sarah and Freddie live in this 7,310 square foot mansion with their kids. Records show their home is colonial style with three levels and partially hidden from the street behind a short stone wall and a high hedge. At the time of purchase, the home was move-in ready, but the couple has made some changes to the place since. Inside, there are six beds and 5.5 baths. The hardwood floors have been darkened and some of the paint colors have been changed to suit their tastes. Not to mention, in early 2018, Sarah Michelle took to Instagram showing off a newly renovated living room. The red accents were removed to reveal a lighter, brighter color scheme. A new rug and some new furnishings made it look like a totally new space. And this room is also light filled thanks to French doors leading to the backyard. A double height entrance hall with statement staircase and chandelier greets you upon entry. And we can tell that this space doubles as a spot for Sarah to pose for photos. This links to the formal living and dining rooms and the former offers a fireplace, wet bar and wine room. There's a second fireplace in a cozy study and a third one in the spacious open plan kitchen eating family room area that is glass doors to a shaded terrace. I assume plenty of family cooking has gone down in this gourmet kitchen, considering both Sarah Michelle and Freddie have published their own cookbooks. Those kids must be eating well. There's a staff suite on the main floor of their home and four guest family beds on the second floor. The couple shares a roomy second floor master suite with a soaring skylit vaulted ceiling, yet another fireplace, and two sets of French doors opening to a private terrace. Not to mention, there are double walk-in closets, one for Freddie and one for Sarah Michelle. And it's clear that she likes to show hers off on the gram. A few years back, she offered fans a peek inside her closet, sharing a snap of her massive shoe collection. We've seen the rest of her room-sized closet as well, and it features glass doors, fluffy white carpeting, a massive mirror, and an island for more storage. They also share a marble-tiled master bath with dual sinks, a soaking tub set in front of an oversized window, and a marble steam shower. The third floor offers more highlights like a bonus room and a home gym. Outside the Hollywood couple's home, the backyard isn't really large, but it does have room for several shaded terraces, a barbecue area, a free-form swimming pool, spa, and extra lawn space. More recently, Sarah Michelle gave fans a look into the enviable master bath that looks as if it were taken from a five-star spa. The Buffy the Vampire Slayer star shared a pic on her Instagram showing her sitting inside the shower of her extremely spacious bathroom. She smiled for the camera, wearing a cream-colored sweater and skinny jeans, holding her drink in her hand with pointed toes to boot. She captioned the snap saying, This is totally normal, right? Asking for a friend, obviously. After all, it's the only room in her house that has a lot in any privacy. Sarah's followers adored the picture and the caption, as well as the backdrop, leaving comments such as, yes, if my bathroom looked like that, I'd hang out there too, lol, and I need to live in that bathroom. And even a, apparently, your bathroom is bigger than my whole apartment, so it's a huge yes for me. 
Sarah and Freddie continue to give more peeks inside their Los Angeles home on social media. On a previous Memorial Day weekend, the actress also showed a bit of her beautiful pool and backyard while she was prepping for a family barbecue. She wrote under this photo, Wait, an actual hashtag Memorial Day barbecue with people not my immediate household? Do I remember how to be social? Must practice small talk in the mirror. Well, as you might guess, this was after the pandemic, so I can see why Sarah would say that. Another space in Sarah and Freddie's home that's special to the couple is their home library. In fact, Sarah has spoken about why she loves this room so much too. For her, she considers reading a passion and it keeps both she and her kids inspired. She said in an interview, I think it's really important to sort of model things for your children. People always ask me. I'm a big reader. I always have been. How do you encourage that with your children? And the best way to do that is to model it for them. Sarah explained that she's an avid collector of first edition books, a hobby that she's had for years and has since built up an impressive collection, which includes first edition Dr. Seuss books to a complete array of Arthur Rackham books, who's her favorite illustrator. The actress said, Collecting first edition books started for me when I was on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Once I first started, you know, earning paychecks where I could really spend it on something that was a passion, not just a necessity for myself. A lot of our cast got new cars and for me it was like books. She also explained that it's important she passes on this creativity to her kids, making sure she buys them something that they're actually going to want to pick up and read. She added, For a long time my son didn't want to pick up books, but he loves cars. He's fascinated by cars, so I started getting car magazines for him. He loved to read articles on how they built cars and different engines and how they use computers to build these cars. And then, this sparked his imagination. And I always tell people, it's not what you're reading, it's that you're reading. Even if your kids love graphic novels or comics, keep that up. Considering this is a hobby that's adored by the whole family, it's no surprise that the Geller princes have a library room at their home, which is her favorite room of the house. With a little TLC and reorganization, it also became Sarah's go-to spot for Zoom calls and working from home. After getting a friend to reorganize the space, the library now boasts a color-coordinated bookshelf that not only shows off her book collection with ease, but also brings in texture and personality to the space, making the corner bookshelf a statement piece. Before moving into their current estate in Mandeville Canyon, it was reported in 2014 that Sarah Michelle and Freddie had listed their former LA estate for around $5.49 million. They bought this property when they were not yet married in 2001 for about $2.4 million, and it soon became their family home. Built in 1991, this traditional style mini mansion was located on Stonehenge Lane inside the prestigious 24-hour guard-gated community of Bel Air Crest in Bel Air, LA. It sat on almost half an acre of land and boasted celeb-style privacy, grand-scale rooms, an open floor plan, and exquisite grounds. Inside, Sarah and Freddie's house spans 7,620 square feet and had five beds and 4.5 baths. There were custom finishes, marble fireplaces, and beautiful lighting complementing the interior. One of the family rooms had a drop-down screen and projector, 15-foot ceilings, a fireplace, and French doors. Other fireplaces were located in the living room and the master suite. The chef's kitchen had a center island, granite finishes, and a seemingly endless supply of storage. This space overlooked the family room as well as a sun-filled breakfast nook. The other living room was cozy with another TV, wood finishes, and a charming cozy vibe. Elsewhere, another sitting room had leather sofas and doubled as a games room offering a pool table. They also had a wood-paneled library with wall of windows and a classic design. Sarah and Freddy had a luxurious master suite featuring 15-foot ceilings, a fireplace, sitting area, secluded balcony, custom dual walk-in closets, and dual baths. A recipe for a happy marriage. The master bath could rival a beauty salon in size and match a Manhattan penthouse in style. Their Bel Air estate had a unique lower level too with a bonus room, guest quarters, sunroom, and home gym. 
Finally, moving outside, Sarah and Freddie's house here had plenty of patio space, waterfalls, a swimming pool, spa, and a barbecue area. Despite all this property had to offer, it was time for the couple to make a move. Well, I think that Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie Prince Jr. have found not only the secret ingredients to a healthy marriage, but also how to create a peaceful and stunning family home in the heart of LA. Well, that's all we've got for this house tour. Before we wrap up for today, let me ask you guys. What do you think keeps a celebrity couple strong despite all of the drama in Hollywood? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, be sure to tell me which part of Sarah and Freddie's current home was your favorite. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name is Kara. Follow me on Instagram to chat further, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!